Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from Infos uh, in oil and gas training. Uh, in this video, we are starting a new subject uh, that is uh, valves. <coughs> valves are uh, very important equipment using in uh, oil and gas industry, not only in oil and gas or any other uh, uh, all type of industry. It's a it has a major role uh, using uh, in uh, uh, diverting the flow, maintaining the flow, control the flow, so control the energy. So various types of valves are there according to the pressure, temperature, etc. So we are starting this video from this uh, 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 our uh, <coughs> session onwards and it will take maybe 4-5 uh, part to complete this one. Welcome to this video. Definition of a valve. Valves are mechanical devices specifically designed to direct, start, stop, mix, regulate the flow, pressure, temperature of a process fluid. Valves can be designed to handle either liquid or gas application. So, valves are mechanical devices specifically designed to start, stop, mix, start, direct, start, stop, mix or regulate the flow or flow, pressure or temperature of a process fluid. Valves can be designed to handle either liquid or gas application. So, valve has a uh, wide range of application in industrial operation. <clears throat> By nature of their design, function, application, walls come in a wide variety of style, sizes and pressure classes. See, so it is a different, you can see the picture from here, you can see a different type of valve according to uh, their application, function and design, basically pressure, temperature or uh, material of construction etc. So it can come in different sizes. Valves can be manufactured from a number of materials with most valves made from steel or iron, plastic, brass, bronze or a number of special alloys. So the manufacturing material selection is based on their application or pressure and temperature rating. Valve classification, we are going to the next session is a valve classification based on the uh, function of uh, the uh, valve, the first classification is coming by the nature of their design and function in handling process fluid, valves can be categorized into three areas. Number one is on-off valve, which handle the function of blocking the flow or allowing it to pass, either completely close or completely open, like that one not partial open or partial close that is what is called on off it is you can close completely full isolation uh, that is a uh, type 1 uh, valves the second type is a non return valve other name is a check valve which is providing only one direction flow you can see the handle is not here it's a automatic valve it will open only the direction of flow will be in me in one direction that is which allow only flow to travel in one direction. And the th third category is uh, throttling valve. Throttling valve is uh, just opposite of on-off valve. Throttling valve will be work as a on-off valve, uh, zero percentage open or hundred percentage open possible, but mainly it is using for 10, 20, uh, partially open, 25 percentage, 50 percentage, 15, 50 percentage like open throttling valves which allow the regulation of the flow at any point in between fully open to fully closed. So you have uh, fully closed the fully option is there but it will be you can partially open and close. So mainly it is uh, using is a control valve but uh, many other application are there also. We will review it one by one. So you can see that one. On off valve is uh, there and uh, non return valve is there and the throttling valve is there. This is the valve classification according to the function. We are taking to the uh, 
അക്കൗണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് വൺ ഓൺ ഓഫ് വാൾ വിൻ ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് ഇലാബറേറ്റിംഗ് സോ ഓൺ ഓഫ് വാൾ സംടൈം റെഫേർഡ് ആസ് ബ്ലോക്ക് വാൾ ഐസൊലേഷൻ വാൾ വി ക്യാൻ നെയ്മ് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ഓൺ ഓഫ് വാൾസ് ആർ യൂസ്ഡ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഓർ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ദ ഫ്ലോ ഓഫ് ദ മീഡിയം ത്രൂ ദ പ്രോസസ് so these are some examples of various type of uh, uh, on off valve or isolation valve or block valve common on off valves are include gate valve the first one is a gate valve then plug valve is a second one is a plug valve and the ball valve is the third one is a example of a ball valve you can differentiate that one the uh, the the gate valve is uh, uh, this uh, handle is uh, circle shape and and the spindle is moving up and down the opening and closing element uh, is moving up and down but here it is uh, not like that one it is a handle it's a handle you move like this one the, in the other one it's a vertical move so uh, the difference is coming to <coughs> in detail in coming session uh, so we will uh, study that one in uh, detail so gate valve plug valve ball valve and one more thing is there pressure relief valve that is the next slide i will show you and here uh, a majority of on off valves are hand operated this is uh, you can see the handle we can use hand operated although they can be automated uh, with the addition of an actuator actuator is actually a driver of the valve we are using some air or electrical or hydraulic uh, signal uh, motor or other facilities we are using Uh, equipments or uh, uh, signals we are using for uh, operating the valve for opening and closing uh, like using by hand so this is the facility of an electrical uh, motor actuated valve so we will see air actuated valve in the coming sessions and hydraulic actuated valves also many many industrial applications there according to their function and uh, depend upon the nature of the job so so majority of on off valves are hand operated although they can be automated with the addition of an actuator on off valve will continue on off valves are commonly used in application where the flow must be diverted around an area in which maintenance being performed where or where the workers must be protected from potential safety hazards they are also helpful in mixing application where a number of fluids are combined for a parameter predetermined amount of time and when exact measures are not required uh, the important one of the valve is safety management systems also require automated on off valves to immediately shut off the system when an emergency occurs that is in the picture it is called sdv shutdown valve Uh, safety management system also require automated it is an automated on off valve not manually operated it is an automated uh, using the air signal is here or electrical signal or hydraulic signal is using for automated on off valve immediately shut off it will close or open the system when an emergency occurs the esd i request you to refer uh, uh, instrumentation modules uh, Uh, which uh, uh, i have already taken there uh, uh, in the instrumentation section so you will have very good understanding on esd valves how the esd logic is working i have uh, um, uh, described in detail there so please uh, watch that one <clears throat> pressure relief valve are also self actuated on off valves uh, that open only when uh, pressure preset pressure is uh, surpass, surpassed so this is uh, another category of uh, on off valve manual isolation valve is there and uh, the esd valves are there uh, automated uh, sorry actuated type on off valves are there and uh, another category is coming safety uh, safety valves are also automated on off valves in that category such valves are divided into two families relief valves and safety valves uh, relief valve is in the left side picture it is there relief valves are generally used to guard against over pressurization of a liquid surface that is important and the another one on the other hand safety valves are applied in gas application where over pressurization of the system presents 
a safety or process hazard and must be vented. So two type of safety valves are there generally in process application. One is a relief valve. In the left side, you can see that one in the safety valves, you can see the right side. And one is for liquid application relief valve. And for another is a gas application safety valve. Both are on-off valves. Non-retained valve, the th second category of uh, functional application, non-retained valve. So, you can see the image there. There is no handle is there. Uh, the operator, we are not operating. It is automatically opening there. The opening, the element is there inside the valve. When the pressure is acting from one side, the opening element will not, uh, uh, will open to the direction and will flow. Then the any back pressure is acting the opposite side, the opening element will close and protect the upstream side of the valve. So, this is the function application of the non-retained valve. Let us see how describing it. Non-retained valves allow the fluid to flow only in the desired direction. The design is uh, such that any flow or pressure in the opposite direction is mechanically restricted from occurring. All check valves are check valves are uh, non-retained valves. Uh, non-retained valves are used to prevent a backflow of fluid, which could damage the equipment or upset the process. Such valves are especially useful in protecting pump in a liquid application or a compressor in gas application from backflow from pump or compressor is shut down. So, check valves are using uh, many applications in the process. Uh, one example, two examples here given in the discharge side of a pump and uh, discharge side of a compressor. I request you to visit your operational field and uh, see where is the check valve is provided in the process and uh, uh, think about why it is provided in that one. You can refer the P&ID also. Uh, the symbol of check valves are there. Uh, it is differ from... Uh, isolation valves or control valves or uh, actuated operator valves so check valves so to find out that one mark uh, that valve and find out it is in the field so you will get a very good uh, familiarization of this type of valves non retained valves are also applied in the process system to have varying pressure which must be kept separate so many applications are there nrvs and check valves in the process application <coughs> The third category is a functional classification. Third category is a throttling valves. You can see the picture here. It is a, a difference is there, a very big difference is there from NRV and on-off valves. It is a, a definitely some detailed description is required. Throttling valves are used to regulate the flow, temperature or pressure of the device service. So it is a, regulate the flow. You can maintain, increase and decrease the flow or pressure or temperature uh, you can possible that one and uh, this uh, valves can be uh, moved to any position within the stroke of the valve and hold that position including the full open or full close position therefore they can be act as a on off valve that means this valve can act as a on on off valve uh, it is not uh, its uh, direct function is important function is not that one it is normally working on from uh, from above 0 to below 100 in that category but it can work as a on-off valve also mainly its uh, core function is uh, uh, maintaining the uh, flow of the uh, service or uh, energy uh, or flow of the fluid uh, to control the pressure temperature flow or level uh, so it has various applications that's why here the actuator is there uh, the, in this particular one is a pneumatic actuator and the positioner is there, pressure regulator is there, many, many and here uh, the uh, I2P converter is there. So many items are there, you can see here, positioner is there, opening element and closing element is there, actuator, uh, pneumatic actuator system is there, diaphragm, operating valve and regulator, many items are there. I kindly request you to... Uh, uh, watch again my module in instrumentation and control in the valve section maybe in the last section in that one so it is clearly uh, describing explaining about uh, actuator system and uh, positioner pressure regulator and uh, control valves so control valves are coming in the throttling valves 
So although many throttling valves or designs are provided with a hand operated manual valve or hand wheel, so sometime they will provide hand wheel also in the top of this one, but most of the cases, some are equipped with actuator or actuation system. Most of the cases it is actuated, actuated, uh, it is actuators uh, operating system either in pneumatic or electric or hydraulic system which provide greater thrust and positioning capability as well as automatic control. So it is receiving the control from a controller, uh, from automatic uh, a controller which is uh, uh, operating uh, by a uh, instruction of a set point. So based on that one it is receiving a remote operating valve this one and it is receiving the signal from remote uh, remotely. So these all informations are I clearly explain in my uh, instrumentation control uh, videos. Uh, kindly request you to watch that. <clears throat> uh, pressure regulator are also throttling valves in another category. Pressure regulators are throttling valves that may vary the valves position to maintain the constant pressure downstream. You can see here, uh, here, here you can see here you can see pressure regulator. Look at this one. This is pressure regulator. This is pressure regulator. So that is what is discussing here. Pressure regulators are throttling valves that vary the valves position to maintain constant pressure downstream. So upstream we can give the service dis uh, upstream support pressure and it is discharging and restricting the pressure and giving the necessary uh, reducer pressure to the service. So that is a pressure regulator is doing. If the main application is of just before the control valve, different applications are there in many other locations, but one important application is there in the actuators operating, pneumatic actuator operating control valve. If the pressure build downstream, the regulator cross slightly to decrease the pressure. And if the pressure decreases downstream, the regulator open to build the pressure. So automatically it will on off little bit. Uh, a little bit uh, um, uh, throttling to maintain the downstream pressure according to that one. So it is a good uh, throttling valve example. As part of the family of throttling valves, automatic control valves, sometimes referred to simply as control valves is the term continuously used to describe valves that are capable of varying flow conditions to match the process requirements. So control valves are the most example of uh, throttling valves. Uh, uh, different other throttling valves are also there, but mainly in the area of control system, uh, process control system, these valves are using. You can see the control system in a uh, process pipeline. Here two control system, control valves are using. Valves are here and the actuator system in the top. You can see here the pneumatic compressed air is giving to a uh, diaphragm and a spring systems are there and it is you can open the closets to maintain the fluid flow. <clears throat> to achieve automatic control these valves are always equipped with actuators. So this is the actuator you can simply call as a driver of the valve. But actuator is receiving the signal from outside some other uh, remote location. Actuators are designed to receive a command signal and convert into a specific valve position using an outside power source air, electric or hydraulic which matches the performance needed for that specific moment. So it is receiving the signal from outside and according to the signal either to open or close or maintain the same throttling position it is receiving the signal and uh, taking action into account and opening and closing. So final control element within a control loop. Normally uh, the, in the control system we called final control element in a control loop which is a control valve. This all are I explained the previous uh, instrumentation module that's why I am not going to in detail here. So you have to watch uh, that module again one more time to understand what is the control system. So control valves are most commonly used the final control element. This is the valve here. Uh, the term final control element refers to the high performance equipment needed to provide the power and accuracy to control the flowing medium to the desired service conditions. So this is the control valve is operating here receiving the signal from controller which is a remote uh, hardware 
kept either in the um, local equipment room, instrumentation room, or in the control system, uh, central control room, hardware location. So the the set point based on the set point, the signal is coming from the controller and uh, then it will go into positioner and uh, then it is uh, converting the signal to according to suitable to this control wall position. It is giving the driver uh, uh, actuator to open and close the valve. This all detailed explanation have provided in other sessions. That's why I am not uh, taking to detailed description here. Other control elements include metering pumps, lowers, dampers, variable pitch fan blade and electric current control device. Many other locations you can use the final control element are in the metering pump. Uh, lower is there uh, in the fin fan cooler or damper or variable pitch fan blades are there. Uh, dampers are there, air, air supply into the uh, boiler or furnace you can say. Electric current control devices are there. These are the final control elements using in the process industry. Here, uh, one more explanation on the control system. Control valve as a final control element, the control valve is a part of the control loop, which usually consists of two other basic elements of control valves sensing element and controller. Here is the sensing element is located here, and the sensing element is a either flow, pressure, or temperature or level. It is converting to the signal is providing to a transmitter. Here the example is a flow transmitter. And transmitter control the uh, convert the signal into a uh, uh, useful communicating uh, uh, method, communicating view uh, uh, level. It is either in pneumatic or electronic way, uh, suitable per level. Then it is transport to communicate to the controller which is another hardware located in the control room or in the local equipment room. Uh, this is called FIC here. It is flow indicator controller. You can see the indication that's why only otherwise it will see FC flow controller. Uh, just to ignore this PID controller, uh, this is not uh, included like our this one. Controller have different type of controllers are there in that one is uh, PID controller, proportional integral derivative controller. No need to uh, study here that one. And uh, flow FYE is the <coughs> converter, the controller output is an electronic controller. So it is uh, converting the signal. I2P converter is a pneumatic signal because the uh, control valve is most of the control valve is working in pneumatic signal. Air is the driver of the control valve. So it is providing the air. Uh, compressed air through positioner to the uh, diaphragm or actuator here and the valve is according to operating open and closing or throttling based on the instruction from the controller. So as the final control element, the control valve is a part of control loop which usually consists of two other elements beside control valve, sensing element and control controller. Not only sensing element actually, sensing element, transmitter, controller, converter, positioner, many, many uh, instruments are there in a control loop. The sensing element measure a specific process condition such as fluid pressure, level, temperature or flow. The sensing element uses a transmitter. Uh, here the transmitter send a signal with information about the process condition to the controller or a much larger uh, distributive uh, control system. So the controller receives the input from the sensor, controller is receive the input from the sensor or the transmitter in a suitable format and compare it to the set point that is set point is here we are providing that one and the desired value needed that was the portion to the process then the output is giving to the uh, control wall while comparing the actual input uh, against the set point the controller can make any needed correction uh, to the process by sending a signal to the control element which is most likely a control wall. So the wall makes the change in the fluid uh, energy position and flow fluid flowing maintaining our uh, process is at uh, its set point. The valve makes the change according to the signal from the controller which is measured and verified by the sensing element and, and completing the loop. Once it is opening and closing and again the process element uh, control uh, sensing and confirming that when the uh, process parameter or process variable is at its set point. <coughs> 
so one more classification is there we are uh, uh, already completed uh, classification according to the function so here according to the application general service walls are there uh, general service walls are those walls are designed for the majority of common place application that have lower pressure rating between american national standard institute class 150 and 600 between pn 116 to 100 moderated temperature between 50 degree and to uh, 650 degree fahrenheit or non corrosive fluid common pressure drop that do not result in cavitation or flashing so the simplified the beginning application you can say in the pressure classification or temperature classification normal application wall that is general service wall you can see the one wall simply simple picture from google and you can see here i put that one it is clearly mentioned that one class 150 to 600 so you can see here it is written there nsi class 150 gate valve cast seal it is written here and here nsi class 150 ball valve so both are general service valve you can say but it is in different material stainless steel general service valves have some degree of interchangeability and flexibility built into the design to allow them to be used a wide range of application so it has a general service valve has a general wide range of application their body materials have specified as carbon or stainless steel or many other uh, uh, suitable material for uh, according to the application one more thing one more valve is there based on the application classification special service valve is there so some services are there non corrosive high pressure flashing happening cavitation happening so in that case you cannot use a general service valve so in that category considering as a special service valves so special service valves in a term used for custom engineered valves that are designed for a single application that is outside for normal process application because of its unique design and engineering it will only function inside the parameters and service condition related to a particular application see it's a particular application not for general application such walls are used uh, usually handles demanding the high uh, temperature high pressure or corrosive medium or many other uh, uh, point of consideration these control walls are designed with a sweep style body and a ceramic trim to handle an erosive mining application involving sand particulars particulates and high pressure air i have uh, taken one uh, simple example from uh, google uh, picture is for reference only uh, so this is uh, specifically one valve is using in mining application so special service valves one more thing is there severe service valves are there what are the definition we can look at that one related to special service valves are uh, severe service valve which are valve equipped with special features to handle volatile applications such as high pressure drop and that results in severe cavitation flashing choking and high noise level so these are the uh, specialized valves using for specialized application actually in oil and gas uh, um, a process application where I have worked in my experience is there I never seen such type of special application but uh, I have seen number of other walls are there uh, for specialized application that are coming into our uh, uh, sessions in uh, uh, coming future slides so we will discuss and that one uh, such walls are uh, may have highly engineered trims in global style valve or special discord valves in rotary valves in either minimize to prevent the effect of the application so these are specialized design application according to the process requirement thanks for watching this video i kindly request you to subscribe if you like my video this video is uh, useful to you then like uh, subscribe and share to your friends and relatives or any other uh, uh, needed person and uh, let them watch and increase our subscription of the uh, this channel thanks for watching this video definitely we will continue our effort to start uh, continue uh, different other classes of walls and major applications and other uh, information on valve uh, thanks for watching this video have a good day